Hi, I'm Jake with Super Circuits, and in this video segment, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install a dome style camera in a suspended ceiling. Suspended ceilings are very common in commercial buildings such as stores, offices, and churches. Now, I've already selected the best location for the camera, and the cables have already been run. So now it's time to install the dome style camera. There are two basic types of installation for dome cameras surface mount and flush mount. And most cameras on the market today are surface mount. However, like most newer cameras, the CD50 that we'll be using does both surface and flush. First, we're going to remove the ceiling tile the camera's to be installed in. And remember to always wear eye protection and use a sturdy ladder. <clears throat> and just so you know, I'm removing the ceiling tile to work on the ground, which is a lot more convenient than working up on a ladder. Once we've removed the ceiling tile, it's now time to start the install. Many of today's dome cameras are made of lightweight, high-tech material and can be mounted directly to the ceiling tile without any additional support. However, today we're going to be using plywood as additional backing for the dome camera that will help distribute the weight evenly across the ceiling tile and is especially useful for heavier cameras. All right, I've found the center on the ceiling tile and I have centered the plywood backing and I've centered the base of the dome camera. Now I'm going to go ahead and screw in place the dome camera base which will also help hold the base in position when we drill the holes for video and power. Remember, when you're installing a dome camera, you do need a hole for the video and the power cables. Today's installation, I'm using additional support by means of plywood, so I'm using a drill with a one inch bit. That'll give me a generous amount of room for both the cables and connectors. But if you're using a dome camera that doesn't require support, you can probably get away with a utility knife. As you can see, I've already reinstalled the ceiling tile with the base of the dome already attached. And I've routed the video and the power cables through the hole that we drilled earlier. Now let's attach the video and the power cables. Now I'm mounting the camera itself to the base of the dome, which will be securely held in place by four screws. And this time I'm using a screwdriver versus a drill to ensure I do not cross thread. When doing a flush mount installation, again, you'll want to find the center. And as you can see, I have that marked already. And for this installation, I'm going to be using a drill and a three inch hole saw that matches the back diameter of the dome camera perfectly. However, if you don't have a hole saw and a drill available, most dome cameras include a mounting template that you can center and then use a utility knife to go ahead and cut the diameter of the hole perfectly. Alright, now I'm installing the dome camera into the hole that we just made. And a point of caution for you, if you're opting not to use additional support for your dome camera, as we are here, I highly recommend that you use a hand tool versus, say, a power drill to ensure that you don't over torque the screws. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the ceiling tile with the camera attached. And just before I do that, I want to go ahead and connect the video and power cables. Before completing the last step of installing the dome, 
You need to make sure that your lens is focused, your camera is orientated correctly, and all the settings are done. And to make the job easy, I'm using a Super Circuits field installation monitor. In the last step, you want to make sure that the dome is free from debris. And we'll go ahead and apply the dome. One last point of caution, make sure your blinders on the dome are aligned correctly so that the lens has a complete and unobstructed field of view. Our installation of the dome camera is now complete. And for more information, please feel free and give us a call at 1-800-335-9777 or visit our site at supercircuits.com.